Today, local labor union leaders say 2020 has redefined the fight for workplace safety. NBC 26's Rachel Hotmeyer caught up with some people at a local Labor Day fundraiser and tells us what it's been like. Not all about the sales at the big box stores. Uh, Labor Day is uh, a federal holiday that is there to celebrate working families. As many celebrate Labor Day with a shortened work week, unions have faced a totally new fight for workplace safety in the face of coronavirus. Much of that fight was felt at the JBS meatpacking plant in Green Bay, where workers saw the airborne disease spread rapidly due to the plant's refrigeration. They had to go to work and, and in an uncertain time and, and not be certain how safe it was and really how it was going to affect them and their family. Well, being an essential worker it was just tough to get up every morning going to the plant knowing that everybody else is staying home. So and all our coworkers, a lot of our coworkers that were sick, uh, the line speeds got turned way down. So it was down to the crawl, crawling where we could hardly even, you know, keep, keep it operating. Without the ability to hold their usual in-person union meetings, there was a lot of uncertainty around what they needed to do for safety. Some saying the only preparation they had was from what they knew of previous flu strains. We do have OSHA health and safety standards that protect workers, but unfortunately there's no standard that protects this kind of a, a pandemic. There will be in the future, I hope, if we elect the uh, right people. In the meantime, these union members are focusing on something different today to help their neighbors. Instead of their annual barbecue fundraiser, the Greater Green Bay Labor Council and AFL-CIO hosted a drive through food drive to celebrate the holiday. We ended up putting this together and said, Let's see if we can still take care of the pantries and shelters. Reporting from Green Bay, Rachel Hopmeyer, NBC 26.